Epic Delights. I am your host, Koi Koi Nange. And today, once again, we are in Ayani. But today, we're going to be meeting a host all the way from Moshi in Tanzania. I want to take a look around this neighborhood and see what we can get for her and see if we can use it in what she's going to prepare for us today. Come with me. Let's take a look around Ayani. So I've come to this um, fruit place and as, as you can see we've got some very nice fruits over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get maybe a basket. We can make enough for a basket. There's a good array over here. Yeah. So labda only um, 333 of everything but bananas you give me like four or five. Okay. A bunch of five three, of them. Three, yeah? yeah, three nice ones which can be eaten. But give them a duration, maybe a ripe one and not so Changanya. ripe the other ones. Changanya. Two of these. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and those bananas, how many are they? There are four, I think. There are four of them. Yeah. Are they nice ones? Check for me if they are nice yes, ones. They are good. Before I can decide to take these ones, are they the same banana, the same type? Yeah. How is Biashara here in Ayan? It's, it's good. okay. Yeah. Many people, like give me a paper bag. Just about 200, it's 195. So we've got all these beautiful fruits and we're going to go now and meet our host. Remember I told you she's all the way from Moshi, Tanzania. So let's go see what she's going to be preparing for us and see if we can use this in the meal. Here we are at Sharifa's house and I'm sure she's just waiting for us. Let me just knock. Hodi, Hodi! Karibu! Ah, Hi! Hi, Sharifa! How are you? I'm good, how are you? Fine, nice to see you. Good Karibu to sana. see you too. Karibu! Eh, hey, Asante! I've been walking around Ayani mm -hmm. and as is traditional of us, I have brought you some gifts. I come hey. bearing some gifts. Asante sana ni mshukuru. Asante so ata wewe Karibu for hosting me. Karibu sana nyumbani kwangu. Uh -huh. yeah. This is where you live. Yes, I live with my mom. Uh -huh. Ah, she come on mama. And that's uh -huh. Muad, my nephew, Muad. my sister's kid. And I even live with my sister, uh -huh. but Kidogo ametoka. She'll join us later. She's going to come later. Yeah. Ah, okay. Karibu sana ni karibu, karibu, karibu sana. I know nimechelewa Kidogo. Sasa. Okay, let's see the place then we come out. Okay, sir. Mm, karibu. This, okay. Uh, you just feel it like this by your fingers. That's a chaga dish. We're going to be making mushare. Some onion. It's really, really good and it's soft. So don't go anywhere. This is where I live. Wow, I love it. It's You're nice. You're most welcome. Mm -hmm. Asante sana kwa zawadi. Karibu sana. Are we going to be doing any cooking here? No. No, we can't do it here. This room gets hot in it's the It's really room. hot. So I was thinking, I've done a setup outside. Mm -hmm. We cook outside. Okay. Yeah. Let's go do some cooking. Okay, fine. Okay. Ah, karibu. Asante. Watu nkoneshe chakula. Let me show you what we are cooking today. Mm -hmm. It's a Tanzanian dish. That's nice. You're going to tell me about it. Mm -hmm. That's a chaga dish. It's a Those chaga are bananas dish. from there. Mm -hmm. Just normal bananas. They're not plantains. Yes. The hair green we have bananas. Here. These mm -hmm. are the ones we've already removed the skin. Yeah. We peeled the skin. Mm -hmm. And then I have some marinated chicken there. Some marinated chicken over yes. here. And you've marinated it, I can see in some daniels. And garlic and ginger mm -hmm. and a bit of li uh, lemon mm -hmm. and salt. Okay. Yeah. So you can take me through it one by one. You tell me which meal is which. This is, is this one meal? Uh, Potatoes and bananas. bananas. And it's called what? Mshari. Mshari. Yeah. Okay. And then the onions. The onions. The so when we cook, we mix everything together. Inside. Yeah. And this is a sample of what that what is. What is there? Tomatoes. Onions, onions. And, and they're all entering the mshari. Yes. Okay. And uh, and then that one. Is a chicken. A chicken. And the chicken is called what in in Kichaga? Kichaga, it's called nguku. Nguku. <laughs> That's close to what we say over here. Yeah. Eh? Okay. And this one will be preparing it how? This one is just normally fry it. It's normal with the onion. With the onion. With the ho ho. 
and the hohos and, and tomatoes. The tomato so it becomes more. Generally, testing. everything we're, we're making, we're going to use all these all ingredients these, over yes, here. That yes. is awesome. You said this is tomato paste. Yes. This is oil, oil. and salt. Yes. Okay. Me, I'm ready. You're going to be showing me how to make this food, isn't it? Yes, I will. So there you have it. We're going to be making mushare mm -hmm. and, and nguku. And I think it's going to be very, very yummy. So don't go anywhere. We're back and now we're getting into the business that brought us here. We're actually going to be cooking all this yummy food. So tell me, what do we do next? How do we start this whole okay. process? First, we need to put on a kanga as an apron. Uh -huh. so oh, that okay. There's yeah. no aprons in Tanzania. Uh. We use the kanga. <laughs> yeah. Uh. So that ungoyako is a fuke. I love kangas, by the way. What I want you to tell me is about these things. Let me see what mine says. Because usually there's like a hidden message over here in this in this in the kanga. So siku hufanana lakini hazi hazilingani. Siku hufanana lakini hazilingani. Yeah. Your activity of the day is not the same. It's not the same yeah. thing. Uh -huh. okay. They don't match. We can't have, we are, like so yesterday, it cannot be like today. Mine is a general message, yeah? <laughs> hmm? yeah. So it's a so good one. So tie it. I just tie it on my waist. Yeah. Uh -huh. Will it help you? Not to get that if you're yeah. expecting people. And you know banana is really the stain. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Sit down. Go sit down. We'll bring that bakuli. Then you can tell me the tales of Tanzania. <laughs> We can get to know more about the people of Moshi. So this is your knife. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, here we have the, the, the unpeeled one. The unpeeled one. So you're going to show me how you, you do it. Us, uh -huh. normally you do it one side. You cut one side one out. One side. Uh -huh. And then if you have long fingers, you just peel it like this by your fingers. Wow, like a normal banana. Yes. I have never seen that done. So you just In fact, I'm even going it. to attempt that one. <laughs> so you just remove the... And, and you put it finger, kind of yeah. to the side, yeah, yeah. like this. Mm -hmm. And you peeled a little bit. So sometimes it becomes tough. Mm. You can just do the normal. Then way. you continue to peel. Yes. Okay. Who taught you how to make this meal, and how comes you've chosen to cho to do this meal today? <laughs> my mom is the one who taught me. Mm -hmm. My lovely mom. Yes. The one who taught me everything. And even wow, learned it from her. Wow, it's easy. Yeah. It's not that hard. You can actually do this, yes. but it comes out with a bit of some the the, the meat. Ninja, eh? yeah. So what you do with the meat, you just remove it now. Whenever there's a place just, like sometimes peel it just it off. For them, like my mom, mm. they just do it. Like They're this. used. They just. They, yeah. Wow. But for us modern people, we don't have that time. Eh? But you learn something new <laughs> every day. I actually find this better than the peeling. But there's this the blackness that comes. Yeah, you see, like now. It's dry. It's drying. How do you avoid this blackness? You have to put it in the water. You put it in the water Soak straight. It, yeah. Okay. Straight. Uh, uh, we once did a if Ugandan delay, episode, and they told us huh? that the only way is to remove all the green completely, yes. completely, completely. How so many are you? We're only two girls and one boy. Two girls and one boy. Yeah. The cooking is done by the girls only. Yeah. Am I the boy also? Does he cook as well? He used to, because mm -hmm. he was in the army, so... <laughs> oh, ha, ha, ha. so he had to cook. Yeah. But in Tanzania, is it normal to see no, no, no. Um, men cooking? It's normal. Mm. Some but cultures say only culture, the meat yeah. is done only by, by men. Uh, is this a mashed dish? Yeah, you can mash it, or you can just serve it like that. So, later, mm. Mm. and then you, you do this. You slice it. You slice it. Okay. And then you... Into small pieces. Yes, we should do the chicken. What we've done is we had just added some more chicken earlier, isn't it? Yes. Some onion. It was hohos. Yeah. Even in the banana, you can put hohos, eh? Mm. Mm. I hope you leave some so that we can put some yeah. in the bananas because I want to see them done all together. Let's put some tomatoes. A bit. Add some tomatoes. At what point are you going to add salt or uko later? Later, yeah. Yeah, when you want. We can even add now. Yeah. yeah. For it to enter into the chicken. Because I find yeah. the chicken sometimes is a bit tasteless. If you if don't. You put later. Mm. Okay. That's nice. Because later we're going to put the paste. Eh? The don't, tomato paste inside. Not now. All these two things have a little bit of salt, yeah. isn't it? So, so. Some salt. Some salt, kidogo. Yeah. Hey, come a on. bit 
put this, a spoon. Like one cup spoon. Yeah. Which is, then we'll taste it. This much everywhere so that it all gets in here. Yeah. It will okay. also aid in finishing the water a little yeah. bit, yeah? Yeah. Mm. Okay, so we'll leave it to cook. To cook, yeah. yeah. Because chicken must be cooked completely. Yeah. Bring it closer. And this should be in the water, isn't it? So that yeah. it stops turning black. Yeah. So, so it's just lengthwise and then into quarters. Yeah. Okay. So do you have any children? Yeah, I have two boys. Mm -hmm. They're only in school. They're all in school. They're one in school is in right college. now. Yeah, mm -hmm. one is in college, the other mm. one is in form one. Do you cook with them? Yeah, some, but you know, sometimes nobody, yeah. they, nobody just come. Mom, what is there to eat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're just ready for yeah, the food. Yeah. How long have you been here in Kenya? Mm, I think the rest of almost. Your whole life? Almost. Almost <laughs> your whole life. But normally, all the holidays, we need to go home. To Tanzania? Yes, we have. To. How did it happen that you moved here? Was, were your parents working here? My father. Your father got a job here. You moved to? To Kenya. To Kenya. To Mombasa. To yeah. Mombasa. Yeah. Okay, so you grew up mostly in Mombasa. In Mombasa, old town, mm. near for Jesus. That's very close to what you have in Tanzania, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, the people are nearly the same. The, the coastal people. Yeah. The Waswahili. Yeah. So it was easy the, for you to get to, along. Yeah. Okay, the bananas are here, I think, yeah. nearly done. So what I want to do, mm. I remove that water on the fire. Uh -huh. We start putting the bananas in that water. In the hot water. Yeah. Okay, so basically it's a boiling dish. Yeah, you know well, when we did the thing. when we did this meal with the Ugandans, mm. we did not put the bananas in water at all. They put in the leaves. They put in the leaves, and they, the bananas are not supposed to touch water at all. Oh, so okay. for us here, yeah, it's okay to boil. Yeah, it's okay to boil. This is good. Okay, so let me pour some water. Mm -hmm. You want to put it from down? Yeah. So mm. let's put it closer. Okay. You can start with the bananas. I just put them in. Yeah. Okay. And I hope you remember the potatoes inside. Yeah? There's potatoes, yes. I can see the potatoes. And then I put the bananas inside. So okay. you better put it. Back, in back on the fire. Yeah. So okay, let me just here. cut these potatoes yeah. so that they can also cook a little bit faster. Okay. I think they're done. Let me put some onions. So you're just going to mix all Add the vegetables thing. inside there. Yeah. Okay, here you go. Okay. I tell you, I'm a big fan of one pot cooking. And this to me is looking like one pot cooking because all the dishes are going inside. Okay. So, oh, now I'll add some water. You wait to the end so that you can be able to see how yeah. much you need, you yeah? You need, yeah. And then some salt. Same, we're going to do one spoon or two? Yeah, put two. Two spoons. Yeah. Because it's quite a lot of food. Yeah. Okay. okay. And oil? Yeah. Is it the, the remaining? Maybe. Well, we can put half of it. Half of this? Yeah. Yeah. In the meantime, you can check on the chicken. Mm -hmm. And it's boiling nicely. Yeah. Is this going to be a dry chicken? A bit of stew. A, a bit, bit of not... stew. A wet fry. Nice. Okay. okay. So it's done. The only thing that is going to remain is remaining to do is we're putting put the daniyas here. Daniyas a little bit later yeah, when it later, has. Yeah. So we can start by removing some of these things. We clear everything. Yeah. Okay, as we're clearing up, I'm just going to quickly check on our chicken. It's clearly going on very well. In fact, it looks quite close. So I think it would be safe to add the, the tomato paste now because you want the tomato paste to cook together with the chicken. Very nice. And stir it. Fried chicken going on here. Let's leave it to go on. A little bit later, we will add maybe some dania and some salt. Let's check on this. This is still not yet boiling, and I think we might have to switch the fire for this. So don't go anywhere. When we come back, we're going to finish with the meal and then get ready for all the guests to come. 
have cleared the table. Yeah, I can see. Thank you. Asante sana. That's for us to enjoy. <laughs> yeah. As we wait for the food to go on. Yes. Karibu That's sana. Nice. Thank you so much. Mm, is a cup of kidogo. Eh. Yeah. So, ah. have you checked on the chicken? I have checked on everything. Everything looks fine. Maybe if you want, we can add the daniyas on that one. Yeah. I wanted to see. Because the chicken, I think, is ready. I don't know how dry you had wanted it to be. Because those are going to be mashed. So at least it has to have some stew, mm. you? Uh, so is it ready to put this? Yeah, because it's ready. The chicken is ready. It's Asa. ready, yeah? Yeah. Ooh, it's gorgeous. In fact, we can put it here. We can put it here. We can put it here. So, here we can put it here. But we can test it here. We can test it here. We can test it here. Yeah, that one for me. Yeah. Lest it burns me. Yeah. No, they've checked it. It's very fine. Aye. I don't know how to So, here we go. Tayari. It's good. We can put it here. We can put it here. We can put it here. You check on the bananas? Yes. So we can put the ho-hos. The ho-hos, because now they are nearly done, yeah? Yeah. yeah. You can even take these two little, little ones that are left. Yeah. Easy, I can clear them now. Yes. Will we, we mash it, it on the fire? Yes, on the fire. Ah, excellent. Even I can mash it down. Excellent. I will leave you a small piece to taste. <laughs> it's very okay. nice. I like to see the mashing part because it's like every culture has sort of a different, of different way. mashing, yeah. So is there much of a difference between Tanzania and Kenya? Well, currently it's not much different. Mm. At least now they have a bit modern. Before it used to be Kiswahili. It was Kiswahili, Sada. Even so school, the subjects used to be taught in Kiswahili. In Kiswahili. But nowadays they've advanced. Mm. At least there's English. But that's not a bad thing, is it? Yeah. I mean, Kiswahili learning. But now learning that? geography in Kiswahili. <laughs> oh, just imagine. It's just really hard. <laughs> also, if what you have to get tested. Okay, what about the math? Yeah. Yes, in Kiswahili. No, but but they were least, used to it. Yeah, but now at least. It's and then in Kiswahili was in secondary only. Mm -hmm. And then private school. Mm -hmm. But now they advance. They have advanced. Very, the same. Very. And the food and the culture. The food the people almost, okay mostly mostly they love they love uh, bananas mm. most of the moshi people machame the place mm. where we come from mm. people have their own chambers where you can get your get own bananas, your own from, bananas from, from your compound so from your yeah, yard yeah. mostly like my mom came recently mm. she came with some when you go All there, the way from Tanzania. Yeah, mm. You have to carry. Mm. You but have to carry home. You have to carry some. Mm. So what's the one big thing you can tell me that is a major difference or a major uniqueness between uh, from Tanzanians from Kenyans? The most the thing which I like of the uh, Tanzanian people, mm. the kind-hearted. Very kind-hearted. And then they're so, so respectful. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Then Kenyans. I'm sorry to say this. <laughs> No, it's a differences in culture yeah. that Like, you know, there. you can go somewhere. Someone mm -hmm. can enter the house. Or, I mean, you can go to a shop. Mm -hmm. First thing, you find a person, the, sh the shopkeeper greets you. Oh they God, greet yeah, people you know, a lot. Yes. About Subui. Yeah. But here, we don't care. Where? <laughs> yeah, we're not big on <laughs> greetings. <laughs> Yeah. It's a big, uh, one of the biggest cultural know, differences I that know, we have, yeah, is the greetings. Is the greetings that pe people don't greet each other a lot here in Kenya, but they greet each other a lot in Nini. I know. And the most uh, thing I like about them, eh? mm. well, mostly most of them go to town to work. Mm. Mm. Or they work in their chambers, or their women go carry their products and go and sell them mm. in the market. Mm. And then in the evening, from Moshi to Macham is not far. So in the evening, most of them go back to their own houses. They go back home, home up country. Up country. It's like now you, you work in Nairobi, but you live in Kiambu oh, yeah, or Lebur or something. The traffic would be crazy. Okay, and there if there's no always traffic, up and yeah, down, up and yeah, down, because yeah. of the cars. Yeah, but I think the also the tra the this layout of the traffic is, is really good yeah, in yeah. Tanzania as well. Yeah, so that's very nice. It's very interesting. I know you keep day. on telling me. Of course <laughs> I'll go. And I've been there like twice or three times. It's nice. I like it. I love it. It's just that it's so hot. Yeah. yeah. It's so interesting to always find out about our host when we come there. You know, this is how we share our cultures, through the food and everything. Yeah. So we may have two or three guests to share this awesome meal with us. Yeah. And I can tell you, it tastes very nice. You don't want to go anywhere. You want to be here when we serve it out and we receive our guests in the next minute. So bananas are We need to mash them and I need to put them down. I can even do it here. So you can come and help me, my they dear. They are doing easily. They are going yeah. now. 
you know, just freeze it. So you don't want it to be dry. Uh, it dry up by itself. Mm. Yeah. Oh, the way the color is nice. Those must be the guests. So it's ready to eat, my dears. It's ready. It won't yeah. dry, dry, kidogo. Uh, you want it dry, you can do it, but I like it like this. This is the way it goes, yes, eh? Yes, this is the way it cooks. Ah, very nice. Even a small baby can take it. Can eat it like <laughs> this. Yeah. So you like the texture. It should not clear kabisa or taste, isn't it? Mm. Our mash is done, our chicken is done, and we'll be seeing you in a little bit when the guests are coming in. Okay, this is what it all comes down to. We are here. And this is our moment of truth. Our meals are ready. Maybe we can show a little bit about okay. um, the food. This is the chicken. This is the chicken. Look at it nice and glossy. And here, and the chicken was called? Ngoko. Ngoko. Mm, like, yeah, I know that one. <laughs> that and is here is the mash. Look mushare. at it. The mushare. Look, it's just so nice and warm. And the guests should be here any minute. Actually, there's the bell. <laughs> well, I have to go and get them. You can get them. One minute. Let me get them. Well, hi. I'm back again with my guest. Uh -huh. Karibuni. Hello. So, Karibuni sana. Hello. Hi. Hey. Hello, my name is Male. Male, Koi. Mm -hmm. Sancho. Sancho. Yeah. <laughs> nice Hello. to meet you. Hello. Lynn. And Lynn. this is my sister. Yeah. Karib. Oh, yeah, we were waiting for her earlier. Yeah. Where's yeah. mom? Mom, she had to step out a bit. She had to yeah, go? Yeah. yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Hey, nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. We, pleasure. We've been waiting for you. Yeah. We've been. Are you all from Tanzania or your neighbors here? Your neighbors. Your neighbors. From your neighbors. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but you're from Tanzania. Yes. We've cooked your local food. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> you'll tell us if we've done the right thing. Okay. Oh, I was being thrown. <laughs> Karibuni, welcome. Asante. The okay. serving spoon. So, you put. Some of that I put. Okay. Yeah. I came to learn this the Tanzanian way of doing this. I've never done it. Mm -hmm. So uh, what's the name and I've of never the, seen uh, it. The food stamps. It's called well, it's <laughs> like mushare. Mushare. It sounds like mchele. Mushare. 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 Nguku. Na oh. nguku. Eh, you see. Wow. So mushare is the uh, is the mashed, it's the, the bananas. Oh, the mashed bananas. Eh? Yes. And so then Nguku is the chicken. Is the chicken. The chicken. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Welcome, welcome. Karibu. It's yours. How is it? The mushare is... Mushare. Is, yeah, mushare is mushare. <laughs> <laughs> mushare. Mushare. The bananas themselves are called mushare. Mushare, the banana. Yeah, we call them matoke. So, um, is this wood for a specific community in Tanzania? Yeah. Chagas. The chagas. Karibu Nairobi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. It's tasty. Mm -mm. Thank you. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's really, really good and it's soft. The salt is perfect. Ay, Kabisa. Let me taste this chicken nicely over here. Shereko, how, how long have you been doing this? Forever. Forever, right? <laughs> my sister You cook with your, 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 your parents, best, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah? I normally go to the very few mm. houses to get yeah. something like this. Something as nice. We learned from our best, and it's our mother. It's ah, a traditional way of mother. cooking, yeah? Mm. You only told That's me about the like What about the chicken? Mm. Hmm? The chicken is very nice. <laughs> the chicken is tamu. And see, I'm nearly done with mine. Mm -hmm. uh, do you use any, any bananas? Or is it a, um, a specific type of For banana? us, it's, it's uh, I mean, it's, we normally... ones, the ones which are called mushari, they, are, uh, they, they come from like, It comes from the same banana tree, mm -hmm. but a bit thinner. 
They are thin and, and long. long. Mm. And long. Mm. It's yeah. not the fat ones. But, but you, you can... cannot get those ones, mm. matoke will do. We'll do matoke. The normal matoke. It has a different taste, eh? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's not normal. Yeah, yeah. It's not normal, yeah. 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 Mm. Mm. Can you eat it with any other with beef, nini, anything? Anything. Yeah. In fact, there's, there's another one, another mm. style. Sorry. Mm. You do with meat. You yeah. do with meat inside. Inside. You boil it inside with in meat. the bananas. Mm. Yeah. So, guys, how are you finding this food as compared to what you're used to locally? Mm. The thing which normally happen here, they normally mash them, but most of the time we don't normally mash the bananas. You just take them full. Full bananas. Yes. Mm. And also sometimes we normally mix the bananas with the potatoes. <clears throat> Even this one has potatoes, ah. but not, mm. not, yeah. One for cooking, very mm. nutritious, mm. carries everything, yeah. And I think mm. the, the mushare, we call it mushare, mm -hmm. it's very, yes. yeah, <laughs> it's very different from matoke. Mm. Yes, it is. Yeah, matoke. I have really, really enjoyed today. Mm -hmm. Me too. And it's been so nice finding out a little bit about the Tanzanian culture. Because of course we didn't learn too yeah, much. Yeah. Mm, yeah, about the chagas. It's going into my CV. Ah, it's been an awesome day here at Pika Delights. Our hosts have been fantastic. The guests are amazing. And we don't want to say too much because we're going to continue eating this nice food. But from us to you, we want to sign out. In fact, I want you guys to sign out in Kichaga. How do you say bye in Kichaga? How do you say bye? Nakwafo. Nakwafo. We will all say that. So, Nakwafo. We will see you next week. Goodbye. Bye, Nakwafo. Nakwafo. Nakwafo.